Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I wanted to just jump on here before we get into anything. I've got a lot going on this week. As I said in my second last video, <laughs> I have had Chloe and James just leave um, from being with us. My uncle has been up as well and he's just left so there's been a lot going on um, but I wanted to start this vlog off by just saying how incredibly thankful I am for the response on my second last video but also just the support honestly when you're in a place of just doubt or not sure about how you feel with something anything in life I think to have the support that you guys give is just next level and you know good or bad whatever anyone's opinion was it's just food for thought and that was what I meant in that video is that I just wanted to hear from you guys I just feel like I've lost touch and I feel like I've lost I'm not grounded anymore if that makes sense and that's what that video was for. I know there was all different perspectives, um, you know, that it was a reach or whatever. I don't need a reach, <laughs> okay? I have been doing this so long that I don't need to be elevated by people saying, oh my God, how amazing you are. Oh, you're amazing. I don't need that. I need realness and that's what I was asking for. I think when you get to a level in social media, it's not about that anymore. It's not about numbers. It's not about followers. It's not about, you know, all that kind of count. And that's what I was saying in that video is that's what it's become. That's what it's all about. And that's what it's driven by. And unfortunately, because I suppose, you know, well, it's become jobs for most of us and it's important and people are doing this full time as a career. But it's just like, because I suppose if you've been doing it as long as me, it just, it hurts. It does. It hurts. And your response, guys, truthfully, I just, I felt so supported. There were unbelievable responses there. Different stories, different reasons, different, you know, answers that you love short content, that you love long form content, all different answers. And it wasn't one in particular that I resonated with. It was all of them. To be fair, there has been some run-ins in the luxury community with me. And there has been some, you know, breakups where I just, I don't want to be associated with different luxury bloggers. I don't. And you know, it's unfortunate because I've worked with these girls before and I just, I don't know, I find it kind of distasteful in a way and that's how I was feeling at the time to say that. A few people DM me just sort of saying it was rude to suggest, you know, that other girls in the community are doing a, a form of video and this, that and the other and, you know, I'm not part of a community if I think that. That's not true at all. It's my opinion. I've had situations where, you know, I've been told, oh, I can't collaborate with you because I have a fee, a really big fee now. I won't deal with any brands unless I'm paid a fee. Well, you know what? It's just like, you didn't start like that. You know, you didn't start like that on this kind of pedestal, like, I can only work with brands if I'm paid to so much. You know, I have a really big fee. It's like, get over yourself in a way and it's created a fallout and it's not nice and you know yeah the gossip sites are asking you know what goes on with different relationships of bloggers and it's always sort of you know catty or whatever but I don't answer but I wanted to kind of tell you guys or vent that it gets really hard to navigate at times and that's all I meant so I just wanted to come on here straight up and just let you know how I felt. So I am moving on. I am, my goal is since that I'm just going to, I think I'm going to take it back to zero. You know, I'm going to sit and watch some of my old videos, feel the vibe, feel where I was, feel you guys, read comments and just, yeah, 
go back to humble. <laughs> That's what this vlog should be called. Go back to humble. Okay, I'm actually in a rush, but I'm sure most of you understand what happens when you're in a rush and you just keep going with what you were doing. I need to fold up this laundry, but I'm in a rush and I wanted to tell you guys what has been happening and what I have to do and have coming up. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So, major shout out to Laser Clinic Australia. I cannot even believe this is my life, <laughs> but I want to shout out to them because I am taking you with me today to go see them. Let me explain more in the car because I'm running late now. So, all right, bye Willie. Bye. <laughs> Look here on the couch. You just see feet and a little bit of hair. Uh, um, my car tripod has gone missing. Shout out to Key Australia. These are my Key Australia. I like to call them the, my safari glasses because don't they look like, you know, like because they're that kind of green shade lens, it's not blacking out. I don't know how to explain it. It's not blacking out the light. It's making everything turn crimson and gold. Shout out to Spring, aka Teespring, aka influencers merchandise. We always, most most influencers or most YouTubers have their merchandise linked below if they have a merch line. Um, a lot don't, I suppose. Um, <laughs> a lot of the crazy ones like myself who have strange taglines and say a lot of strange things Bonjour. Truthfully, I get so many like emails or DMs of like, uh, I always tend to get like someone will send me a reel or someone will send me a post of something where someone says the juge in it and go, oh, this reminded me of you. And I just think it is so cool. Shout out to Spring. This is their tea spring. This is their men's oversized tea in gray, the gray mile. Um, they send out they send us out samples when you're making making your merch line sorry and shout out to them because this is their gray mile tea in the men's and it's so comfortable yes okay we are on the way I know I say this a lot like I can't believe you know or I can't believe this is my life or I can't believe this stuff happens but major shout out to laser clinics Australia this has to be one of the longest, st <laughs> I feel like it's one of the longest standing service beautician franchise companies like ever in Australia to in the beauty sector because firstly they're everywhere you can, I think you can franchise them own them outright, be a franchisee but I just feel like they're a staple in most shopping malls, shopping centres, your Westfields, things like that, there will be a Laser Clinic Australia. Obviously started with laser hair removal. Now, the menu is endless. Trust me, it is so endless. When this opportunity came up, I jumped at it. Cool Sculpt. I know this is like a newer-ish concept of Cool Sculpt. I've heard of body contouring before or whatnot, but Cool Sculpt is essentially for stubborn fats. Hi, Mum Tums. Hi, all my mummies out there who have had babies and have their stubborn fat on their Mum Tum. Very excited. I've never done this before, but I'm up for anything. I'll do it. I will actually do anything. I have no reservation. <laughs> I have I have no fear of anything. I'm not needle phobic. I'm nothing, to be honest. I have a crazy pain threshold. Just I guess because of my past. <laughs> I just have a crazy pain threshold. Let go. Yeah. Don't know. Oh yeah. Is the original Batman. One time, one time, it's a bad man thing. This body, baby. V kills. Let's go. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. 
I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. Stand up. Hurricane, ooh, yeah. I want to meet you. Oh my god, so you guys just saw that. It was 35 minutes per area. So the machine sits on each area that she circled. The machine sits there for 35 minutes. <laughs> so you gotta have some spare time. I grabbed you guys a menu so that I could kind of show you and go over it. Seriously, there's a laser clinic in Australia almost in every sort of center. So I grabbed you this. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything. So this is the menu. It's like four pages long. It's amazing. <laughs> Landed jackpot Pandora. If you are out there and you collect Pandora, which I know a lot of my subbies do, a lot of my subbies have the charms and everything. I think Monique has a lot of the charms. Shout out to you, babe. But they have just come out with their 14 karat solid gold collection. Hello, can you say Jerusha is obsessed? You know when you've just wanted to be part of a movement for so long and just enjoy it and that sort of thing? This is what Pandora is for me. I've always loved the bracelets. I love the charms. I love the idea of collecting them and the meaning something. I've bought so many charms from people as presents because they make such a gorgeous present. They are so beautiful and, you know, just so, just the best business model. Mum actually sold her house, strangely enough. Um, but I've always wanted to be part of it, but I only wear gold. Well, obviously not my wedding rings and bands, but they're platinum, but I only wear gold. And by gold, I mean yellow gold. I don't do rose gold. I only wear gold. So the fact that they've come out with gold now and solid gold at that, I'm just like, fangirling beyond belief. I feel like part of something now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you run across the road in the rain holding your baton bag like under your t-shirt because you don't want rain on your patina, you know it's a bad day. I have totally got to review this. I have to review this. Speedy 20 with the Matisse, Pochette Matisse strap. I've got to review this, review my strap game and everything. And how I said in the beginning of this video, that is what we're getting back to, okay? That is what we're getting back okay, to. Okay, here's my full length mirror, my L sweater, the Chanel, my leggings. I knew this would happen. Obviously, I'm not wearing my Adidas slides, but I knew this would happen come, you know, the coolest seasons here in Australia. Um, I need to go shoe shopping. I knew this would happen. All I have is my Yeezys and boots and things like that, but I just knew I would need slide on shoes or shoes. And you know what? I'm going to say it. I miss my Gucci loafers, my Prince Towns. They are so easy to just slide on. They really are. That is a shoe that's worth it. Um, if you follow me, I'm not investing in shoes, <laughs> luxury shoes anymore because you walk on the ground. It's, I've now, my OCD has gone crazy. So I'm like, no. Wet. Wet. Hi, darling. You wanna say hi to the vlog? They missed you so much. Yeah. Hi, guys. We're out for breakfast. Oh. This is beautiful on a very, very rainy day. Yeah. I was looking as to what chain to wear. This is a chain that my husband bought me a long, long time ago. And this is my Bulgari ring that doesn't fit on my finger anymore. So it's uh, now a necklace. Isn't that cool? That is how you can totally repurpose, actually. <laughs> and I know so many people do it, but repurposing rings onto chains is such a good idea. And do you recognize this ring, Mum? Uh, 
it's a beautiful year. Well, why don't you my tell wedding, it yet? My wedding and engagement ring together. Ring oh ring. my god, I forgot. So this is my wedding and engagement ring wow. rebuilt so that they the two joined. Diamond is the engagement ring and yeah. the bands are the wedding ring. But with the engagement ring just on one band? No, but yes. Yeah, it was on one band had it rebuilt. Oh, beautiful. And underneath it is just a plain band that I bought with sovereigns in it from the Dubai Sooks, the gold sooks. If you ever go to Dubai, a beautiful outing is to go to the sooks. Is that from Dubai Gold Sook as well? But I'm just saying I wanted one for so long. Cute! Everybody's missed you on the vlog. Oh, thanks guys. Very sweet. Do you want to tell very, them? Very busy. I was gonna say, do you want to tell them how you're an Uber driver? <laughs> <laughs> but you don't get paid for it. I'm actually playing croquet three times a week. So well, tell them what that is, where you knock the ball through the hoop, not bowl. Just Google it. It's called croquet, it's not balls. No, it's with a mallet and a ball and hoops. Anyway, I wanted the vlog to see you. Any words? Of them out there if someone's going through a hard day? Yeah, I just think get out of bed and make a choice. It's either positive or negative. You can make the choice. Yeah. Uh, before you take that first step, you better decide what it's going to be. That's what I think. Beautiful, thank you. Oh, what did you get, Jill? ABC apple, blue carrot. It's fabulous. Is that what it's called? The ABC That's juice? how I remember. It's so delicious. All right, Sean. Cheers. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Good poser for my vlog. Oh, um, the fritters can come here. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Oh my god. Wow. Mama has just spotted an old friend, and of course, going and having a chat. Look at this. So this is the. Uh, what is that? Honeycomb pancakes and ice cream. The homemade pancakes. Vanilla bean. Vanilla bean ice cream. And then we always share. So we got savory and sweet. And then these are Mum lo loves these. They're they're famous corn fritters with two poached eggs, ricotta on the side, with some grilled tomato and arugula. We have just. <laughs> got home absolutely drenched i'll show you the rain let's find our humans oh, oh what a great sight is oh. oh he's in heaven <laughs> willie's in heaven are you literally in heaven what's he what's he yes i'm literally hi nini lala you look so cute in your t-shirt. It's not even raining, Willie. It's not even raining. It's <laughs> storming. Storming. Can you say hi to my vlog? Sorry. Hey, little dog. Vlog, not dog. <laughs> hi, Nini Lala. Look at your outfits. You guys look fabulous. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you don't want to say hi to my vlog? Oh, hi, Lego head. Okay. Hi guys. Okay. Oh heaven. Heaven. Go.
golden. I have decided I'm going to buy my Hermes set pack for the fourth time. <laughs> I only just did that reel on Instagram of unboxing them. Listen, it's not meant to be probably, but at this point in life, I don't care. I'm just going to keep trying and trying and trying because they are the perfect coffee size. These are the perfect coffee size too. I don't know what ounce these are. I don't know what ounce these are, but this would probably be like a little small latte, small flat white. And I think that the Hermes are a little bit bigger, but it's so good. And I really like them. I just like the shape of them. We are getting new eyelash extensions. I can't, I can't believe that I really like them. Like I, I really cannot believe it. And I know a lot of you out there are the same as me. See what I'm doing right now? I'm an eye rubber. It's really bad for your eyes. Like prevention of saggy eyes and like just, you know, keeping your skin nice. You shouldn't rub your eyes but i'm the biggest eye rubber ever one two i sleep with an eye mask all the time all the time um so i was so worried if i like blink and how that was gonna affect the lashes and not is that like worth it but more like i don't i don't want to ruin them you know and, and i don't want to become crazy that i can't ruin them so i don't sleep properly so on and so forth so anyway i was just getting them done like i suppose they're like a cheaper version to get them done at your nail tech because it's not like a lash salon I only do lashes but i'm oh <laughs> hi guys oh thank you so much do you want... fine. oh that's okay do you want to say hi Hi. Say hi guys. Do you want to tell them anything? Yeah. Say what are you? We got lightsaber. Are you being silly? <laughs> I think you're being really silly. Sounds like crazy baby talk. Let's have some breakfast. Come on Tiny. Up. Let's go. Breakfast. I want sandwich. Okay. Up. Get your brother. Mommy, come. Okay. Breakfast. Up we hope. Nobody can, and I'll give you all the things that nobody can. Stand up. Hurricane, yeah. I want to meet you. Hurricane. Oh so my god, look, guys. Like Tip is showing me some night um, patches if you do sleep with a night mask. They're raised for <laughs> people with lushes. Yeah, but I find. Bit. Because it pushes them almost flat, it doesn't, and I don't blink, so. And you're not getting that, like, the rub against the Yeah, floor and either. it pretty yeah. much prevents so, yeah. So, yeah. them, yeah. Yeah, so there's no bad thing at all. Down to a tice, then I look her in her eyes, one time. Say she no one time. Bad man, me give her one time, night time. Say she want me feel like time. Bad man, me not give her the pipeline. Enter the place, they be feeling her body. Swinging and moving and killing her body. She ain't got nothing to prove. She ain't got, she ain't got nothing to lose. Wow, guys. Oh my god. You are an artist. Oh my god, they're so comfortable as yeah, well. Yeah, you can't feel them. Oh, just yeah. so comfy and just like a perfect. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you so much! Oh my god, you guys! I did some cutaways while we were in there. Obviously, I only did them on my phone because the girl was just obviously in a zhuzh and she was doing her job. So she did a few cutaways for me. They are so great. I will leave the link to their uh, boutiques below. Uh, but it's called Beaches Lash Co. So if you're in Sydney on the Northern Beaches, they're amazing. Um, but yeah, they came out so beautiful. I just wanted them sort of natural and fluffy. The other ones were obviously very clustered in volume. Um, but these are just so beautiful and so comfortable. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, but yeah.
Just wanted to show you guys, so cute. I just want to tell you something about this. I get asked about this quite a lot, quite a lot. And is it, you know, even resale, is it worth it, is it worth it? This has to be one of the Chanel bags that is 100% worth it. There is a lot that are, there is a lot that aren't, I definitely feel. Um, and the ones that I feel are is definitely this. So this is the rectangular mini and I've had a square mini, okay? Don't think it's worth it unless it's just an evening bag. This to be a run around and an evening bag is unbelievable. And the Chanel 19. I think that is so worth it. Yes, I know the you know the multicolor hardware and the chain CC and things like that. It's, people think it's too busy, but oh. And if you don't like pillow bags, that's fine. But it is so worth it. It's worth the money. Waiting or getting a classic double flap anymore? I don't think it's worth the money. I really don't. It's controversial, but I don't think it's worth the money now with the price increases, but also for what you're using it for, for what you want it for, a medium flap, a small flap, and definitely not a jumbo. They're so, so heavy in a double flap. And new from the boutique, I mean, honestly, like, unless you made a money, like, it's just... You know, for collectors like us, I think it's more, you know, enthusiasts. Obviously, if you've just got money to burn, you can add whatever you want, girl, to a collection. That's fine. Um, but cost per wear and stuff like that, if you can get your hands on this, honestly. And I would say in lamb or in caviar, I, either way, I prefer it. I really do. My square mini was in lamb. Um... But this is in caviar, obviously. I think this is like a 16, 16 model, 2016, I think. Um, in that matte kind of a caviar. But it's just ugh, such a go-to bag for me. Go-to. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave this vlog here. I have some stuff to do in the studio now. Um, I'll be filming later on this week, which will be fun. But I will upload this tomorrow so you guys can see and we can have a chat be together thank you so much for listening at the beginning of this vlog i know i just sort of went on a spiel again a little bit but it is what it is i'm not gonna you know fake it i never have so yeah if you're with me you're with me and i love that and i truthfully care about each and every one of you and you guys know that if you've been with me from the beginning or not it doesn't matter and if I have influenced you to buy any of these items or luxury brands, I am so proud of that. And I'm proud of you. And when I got comments like that, I was just like, yes, this is what I do it for. And I've been blessed enough to be able to do it. And being called the Queen of Louis Vuitton on YouTube, like, that's an honor for me. And I want to walk away with that honor. I don't want to be you know, saying I'm going to quit in a sad way. Anyway, getting back into a spiel. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Peace. Me feeling her body, swinging and moving and killing her body. She ain't got nothing to prove. She ain't got, she ain't got nothing to lose. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock.